Well, there's a shift happening in provincial education. The creation of the Black Teachers Association this past summer has created new resources for educators to properly highlight Black history. Andrew Parker is one of the founding members of the Black Teachers Association. He works on curriculum and learning supports with Edmonton Public Schools now, joining us now live this morning. Good morning, Andrew. Let's talk about the association because it started with two members in the summertime and has grown quite a bit the last couple of months. Absolutely. I mean, we started this association, uh, Sarah Adamakawanta and I, she's a teacher in Edmonton Catholic School Board. I'm a teacher in Edmonton Public School Board. And immediately after the uh, march uh, and the protest here in Edmonton in June, we just started bouncing ideas off each other and said, well, how can we change society as educators? And then from just the two of us, we started reaching out on social media, Instagram and Twitter and finding as many black teachers as we could and allies and deciding basically what are we gonna do to change the outlook on the black community and change the circumstances of the black community, not just in Canada, United States, but in the diaspora as well. So how did it feel for you, you in the summertime? There was so much social unrest. There was a lot of conflict. Obviously you had an eye to the future. How did that feel for you? Did it feel like a mountain that you had to climb to, to try to get people on the same page or, or how did you approach this whole situation? You know, I was put in a situation where I was waiting for, you know, some people in education to speak up and to say something and to to maybe acknowledge that, yeah, there are some challenges in the black community and how can we support them? And I waited and waited and waited. And then eventually I said, you know, I have to do something as a teacher. If I don't say something right now in 2020, who knows, you might have to wait till 2040, 2060, 2080 to actually see some change happening. And I can't just say that it's been myself. It's been a number of teachers um, in Calgary and Lethbridge and Red Deer who all want change, black teachers, white teachers, Asian teachers. So it's not just something within the black teacher community. It's something with it something that's happening in all of education right now. So how are things changing? You now have a, a, a job with the public schools to work on curriculum. So how are things changing? Well, my job in and of itself is a little bit different. And to be quite honest, I think that if you wanted to talk about curriculum and learning supports, there are some supervisors that would be more than welcome to speak to. But for myself as an independent teacher, we've been creating anti-racism committees within our schools. We've been supporting our Black student-led groups. We've been supporting the Black Teachers Association and all members. We've been providing professional development sessions. And this year, we're actually going to have a a solidified presence at teachers convention, which would be the first time that the Black Teachers Association would ever be involved. So this is amazing change that we're seeing within education. And I'm incredibly thankful to our friends at the Alberta Teachers Association for their help. So how would you uh, advise uh, family members, parents who want to help their kids, but didn't have access to this type of learning when they were going through the school system? I would advise them to reach out to the highest levels of education. I would advise them to advocate for a Black Indigenous person of colour consulting position. I would advise them to ensure that Black vendors are getting opportunities within our schools. I would advise them to join Black student-led groups and civil rights groups that are currently being created inside our education system and support our allies. Our allies are working incredibly hard. I had a conversation with at least six allies this week and the work that they are doing in the city is incredible. They just need the support of their principals. They just need the support of the top leaders in education, whether that's deans or superintendents, et cetera. They need that support. It can't just fall on the shoulders of teachers anymore, guys. This is the time that we get this work done. It's 2021. We wanna see some effective change for the future. Now, really quickly before you go, have you seen some of that change yet or is it still a push to get to where you want to go? I'm glad that you mentioned that. Um, and this is why I'm again going to refer to the Alberta Teachers Association. Just yesterday, I had a conversation with a few people. Um, I have to give a huge shout out to Mr. Jason Chilling, the president of the ATA, and Heather Quinn, the local president of the ATA. And they've been helping myself, Gail Wilson, Mr. E. Patrick Powell, Matthew Sire, Sir Adam Akwansa, and all of our members in every way that we can. We're just waiting for you know some more support in different areas. If we can get some support from major school boards in the province of Alberta, I think that we can effectively bring about change that we can see in the future. You know what? I can tell you're a teacher because you can fit a lot of information into a short amount of time. Andrew Parker, I appreciate you chatting with us. Thank you so much and bless everybody in the city of Edmonton. Stay warm up there. I love you guys. You betcha. We'll talk to you very soon. You can find out more about the Black Teachers Association and some of their resources by visiting the link on our website. Time for us to take a break. We'll be right People back.